Hello, Gamer Norm is back, and in this video, we are going to upgrade all swords and blast fruits. For the new code, here you go, Gamer Robot underscore YT for two times experience for twenty minutes. With the actor slam, oh, they're dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. The developers included a new NPC, the blacksmith. This NPC upgrades sword and gun in the game. So we decided to upgrade all the swords. So for example, the CDK, there is a requirement. There you go. You need to farm these items to upgrade and increase the CDK's damage for 7%. Since we're in the first C, I've decided to upgrade all swords in the first C. We have a total of 14 swords to upgrade in the first C. So before we start, let me show you something. Guys, you can now damage Bobby with a sword. Anyways, for our first two swords located in the Pirate Star Island, we have the Katana and the Catlas. Both swords are worth 1,000 bellies. Now, let's head to the blacksmith and start upgrading. So for the requirements, we need, oh, angel wings and leather. So I'm gonna show you where to get the angel wings. As if you upgrade this sword, you will increase your damage by 30%. That is a lot. So let's check our damage first. As you can see guys, our stat is 1 on the sword. Also the mastery is 1. So pure damage, 9. Okay, we have 9 damage. So let's craft it now. There you go. Damage check. Oh, it became 12. Not bad. And for every upgrade, we will put a check mark to keep track of the updated swords. Okay, next up, the Catlass. I think the requirement is also the same. Let's check it out. Yes, it's the same, but we don't have angel wings. So let's use our door fruit to go to the upper sky. Guys, you can gather angel wings on all of the mobs here. The Shandas, there you go. The royal guards and the royal squads. Okay, so let's fast forward. I have a feeling that the damage will be the same. So let's make this fast. There you go. Is the damage 12? Yes. Okay, let's put a check mark on the cutlass. Next is the Iron Mace in Dual Katana, which is located just here. There you go. The Sword Dealer of the West. Katana 12,000. Iron Mace 25k. So let's start with the Dual Katana. For the requirements, Angel Wings again. Let me show you the fastest way to grind. Guys, check this out. God's Guards, right? Defeat them one at a time. Use your M1. There you go. Don't lure four or five at a time. Just defeat one at a time. Why? Because every cycle... There you go. Let's check it out. The first mob that you defeated will spawn. Meaning, there is no idle time. You won't get bored on grinding. Okay? I hope this one helps. There you go. So, let's fast forward this one. Time to upgrade the sword. There you go. Leather and angel wings upgraded for the damage is 15. Mm. Stronger compared to the previous swords, the katana and the cutlass. Next up, the iron mace. Guys, the damage of the iron mace is higher. Why? Because it costs more. 18, right? And check this out. It is a heavy weapon. The new effects. Okay. So, four swords completed. Next up is the Shark Saw. I tried getting the sword from the saw, but guys, it's really hard. I am having a bad luck today. No! So, instead, I just used my other account. There you go. He has a Shark Saw, and you only need 12 letters. So, you can get the letters from pirates on the pirate village or in the brutes. Also, scrap metals, okay? Easiest materials to get. So let's damage check. 557 guys, take note, Master is 13. So let's upgrade this now. Let's check. Oh guys, now 696. Not bad, right? Again, there is Master so the damage is higher. Five swords done. Next up, moving on to the snow or frozen village. Here we can find the sword dealer of the east. And he sells the triple katana for 60k and 100k for the pipe. Zoro and Sabo. So let's start with the triple katana. So the damage is 14. And you need scrap metal and leather to get it. Very easy, guys. So let's craft this one. Okay, for the damage. Now it's 16. Okay, it increased. Okay, so next up, the pipe. Oh, you need fish tails. So where can you get the fish tails? 
gonna show you where guys underwater city so every mob here can give you fish tails that's uh, guys as proof there you go okay so we're gonna fast forward this until we gather enough fish tails okay okay so moving on back to the pirate village damage check 15 for the pipe at mastery one there you go fish tails let's craft it Damage test 19. Okay, so far we we are done with seven swords. Moving on, next sword is located in the prison. Mm, you need to defeat a boss, the warden sword, but not the warden, but the chief warden. Okay, so let's defeat this boss. Don't worry, we're max level, no problem with this one. There you go, guys. The warden sword. Next up is we're gonna upgrade this sword. Let's head back to the pirate village. Oh, the damage is 26. Shout out to my other account, pass pass. <laughs> 26 damage. Now to upgrade it, we need the O Magma Ore. I'm gonna show you where to get it later. If you upgrade this, it will increase the damage by 25%. There you go. 33 damage. Updating the list, we now are done with eight swords. Okay. Moving on, next stop. Located in the Skylands. We have two swords here. Okay, let's get the chest first. And for the Master Sword Dealer, we can buy the Dual-Headed Blade and the Bicento for 1 million. Bicento is kind of expensive. So for the damage of the Dual-Headed Blade, 17. For the requirements, you need Fish Tails again. Okay, so let's fast forward this. Upgrading again, you know where to get the Fish Tails on the Underwater City. Let's craft this up. There you go. Damage check. I think damage now is, yeah, 21. 21.2 to be exact. Okay, next up, guys, Bicento. Also, this is not Bicento 2, okay? Master is 1. For the damage, oh, 21. Really is high. And for the requirement, oh, Magma Ores again. So, guys, where can you find the Magma Ore? I'm gonna show it to you. And the Volcano. Okay, any mob. Military soldiers or military spies will do. So when you've gathered all the requirements or materials needed, oh, it also needs angel wings. There you go. Damage check. Boom, 26. Wow, not bad. Okay, so four more swords. The Soul Cane, Trident, Paul, and Saver. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. We're going to head to the volcano, right? This is where you can get the Soul Cane. Okay, I think this costs 750,000 bellies. So this is the location. There you go. Okay, so talk to this living skeleton. He will give you the soul cane. Actually, you he will sell it to you. There you go. So for the damage, this 14. But guys, sadly, the requirement. You need radioactive material. So you can only get this material in the second scene. Same with this next sword. Located in the underwater city, the trident. Yes, you need to defeat the fishman lord to get the trident. There you go. But we already have it, so don't worry. <laughs> we are going to upgrade this. Don't worry. Here's the damage 39, guys. Check it out. Master is 51, okay? Okay, so. There you go. The requirements Magma Ore and Scrap Metal. There you go. And the final damage is 49. Take note, Master is 51. Okay, so update on the swords. The last two swords in the first C again. So, for the requirement on the pole, you also need radioactive material. Same with the saber, guys. Sadly. Okay. But don't worry. We will unlock all the swords on the second C, right? Okay. So, we will, again, as, as promised, I will be unlocking all the swords. But I don't want this video to be that long. So, I will make a part 2 for the second C sword. So, I will be including the true triple katana. So, you better watch out for that. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.